everyone! This week we're creating these cute cat and pug themed valentines that each have a pocket to hold candy. To get started you'll need to go to the link in the description where you can print these patterns. For this video I'll be doing the pug one just because it's a little more complex. So I cut it out and now I'm just going to take a ruler and a score tool. I'm using a Cricut scoring stylus and I'm just going through and scoring on all of those dashed lines. Once you've done that, you can go through and then fold on those scored lines. So it should look like this. Next, I'm going to take an X-Acto knife and carefully cut out the details in the face. Now you can of course do this any way you'd like. If there's certain pieces you'd rather not cut out, then skip those. If you want to make this really easy, don't cut out any of the pieces and just draw the face on instead. Or you could even add in more cutout details if you'd like. So I'm just going to repeat this until all the pieces are cut out. And it looks like this. So now we're going to go to the bottom and repeat this, cutting out all the pieces. And again, if you'd rather not cut stuff out, you can always just draw it on instead. So it looks like this. So now I'm going to take that pattern and I'm going to trace it onto some cream colored cardstock paper. You'll want to use thicker paper for this. It will work much better. So I'm just tracing around that with a pencil. Once I've done that, I'm taking my score tool and going through and scoring on all those fold lines. And for those of you that have a Cricut or other cutting machine, I do have an SVG file available for both of these valentines. It will be in the description. So I cut that out. And now I'm going to make sure that I traced around all these cutout details also. And now we're ready to cut those out. So I'm just going to take the X-Acto knife again and cut them out the same way as we did before. So it ended up looking like this. Now I'm going to just repeat this process on the bottom. And don't worry if things aren't perfect, this just gives them a handmade look and makes them more unique. So it looked like this. Now I just went through and erased any pencil lines that might show. Then I took a pencil and drew in extra details. Once I was happy with those, I took this Prismacolor marker, you can use whatever you'd like, and just trace over those lines. So once all the details were added, I took the marker and just thickened up all of those lines. So it looked like this. And I decided to add a few more details here. And then I just took a colored pencil and colored in the ears. So it looked like this. I did come back in and color the mouth also with the black colored pencil. Now we're ready to assemble the card. So just fold up on that top fold line. Then go to the next line and fold upwards. Then I'm taking this side and fold it inwards. And then the tab and fold it inwards. Repeat this on the other side. So it is ready to assemble now, but before we do that, I'm going to add a written message here on the bottom. And because it's a pug and I like puns, I'm writing pugs and kisses.
just writing that out in pencil before I use the marker. So there is the written message and now I'm just going to add some details to the paws. Then erase any pencil lines and you're ready to put it together. So to assemble it, I'm just putting glue on that side tab. Then I'm folding that side inwards and then lining it up with the edge and pressing it in place. On the other side, adding glue on that tab, pushing it inwards, and then lining it up with that side edge. So that is the finished Pug Valentine. Now you can just take some candy or another small gift of some kind and put it in that pocket. You can write to and from names on the paws, and that's it! And here I just wanted to show you what the Cricut SVG version looks like. It has all those drawn in details cut out instead. I hope you've enjoyed these cute animal themed candy holder valentines. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see future videos, I'd love it if you'd consider subscribing to this channel. I hope you have a great day and I will see you next week with another video.